Hello, you guys. Let's talk about Chapter 10, Lesson 5, Surface Area of Prisms and Cylinders. So our goal is going to be to find the surface area of prisms and cylinders. So surface area is when we take the total area of all the faces, including the base and the, the top, everything. All right, a net is a two-dimensional image of a 3D solid. So it's like you peel it all apart like a banana. So if I had uh, the net of this rectangular uh, prism, it would look like this. So um, I would draw the base and then I'd let the walls come down and you know I'd have the base and the top. Um, here is a cylinder and if I drew the net of a cylinder, there's a circle on the top, circle on the bottom, and then imagine like um, peeling the label off of a soup can. That's the lateral side there. Okay, so take a look at example one. One way to do the surface area is to use the net. So let's say I had a storage chest that has the shape of a rectangular prism. The net represents the storage chest. Use the net to find the surface area. So if I had a rectangular prism, that means I, I had um, you know four rectangular walls and two walls that were square based on the measurements they gave me here. And so I would find the area of each of the faces or each of the walls. So the rectangles have an area of three times four, which is 12. And the squares have an area of three times three, which is nine. And then you just find the sum. So you would count, okay, I see one, two, three, four of the rectangles. So four times 12. And then I would add, and then I see two of the squares, so two times nine. And so 48 plus 18 would give me 66. So the total surface area would be 66 feet to the second power. Remember, area is always units to the second power. Okay, but it's much easier to find the surface area of prisms if you use this formula. And this is what we're going to be expecting you to do. So the surface area of any prism is 2 times the base area plus the perimeter of the base times the height, how far apart the bases are. So take a look at this rectangular prism here. Um, first of all, shade the base blue and then draw it over off to the side. So obviously the base is a rectangle and then I labeled it the length was 6 and the width was 4. And so if I wanted to find the area of just the base um, rectangle, I would say 6 times 4 is 24. Now if I wanted to do the perimeter of the base, it would be 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4. And that would give me 20 in this case. And then I just plug in those numbers into this formula. So surface area is two of the base areas, which was 24, plus the perimeter of the base, the 20, times the height of the prism. The height tells you how far apart the bases are, so that would be 10. And so two times 24 is 48, 20 times 10 is 200, add those together, and it would be 248 units to the second power. And notice your book made a mistake, so cross that out and make sure it's 248. Okay, take a look at example two, using the formula to find surface area. Um, so let's say I have this triangular prism, because both the bases are triangles, it's a prism. So um, shade the one of the triangles blue and then draw it over here. So the base looks like this, it's a right triangle. I labeled the base edge 12, you can see it here. The height of the little triangle is 5, you can see it here. And then the longest side is 13, you can see that over here. And so to get the area of this triangle, it's 1 half the base edge times the height. So 1 half times 12 times 5. Well, half of 12 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So the area of that triangle is 30 square inches. Now the perimeter of the triangle just add the 5 plus a 12 plus a 13. So 5 plus 12 plus 13 is 30. And then you put it together in the formula. The surface area equals 2 times the base area plus perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. So that would be 2 times 30, the base area, plus the perimeter, which was also 30 in this case, times the height, how far apart the triangles are, and that's 20. So 2 times 30 is 60 plus 30 times 20 is 600, so 60 plus 600 gives me 660 inches to the second power. 
Okay, so the cool part is you can find the surface area of a cylinder using that same formula. So the surface area of a cylinder equals two times the base area plus, but rather than perimeter, remember to go around a circle that's circumference times the height of the cylinder. So um, again, I would have shaded the base blue and then I'd draw the circle here. And notice they gave us the radius was four, so I put that in. So the base area is pi times the radius squared. So that would be pi times four to the second power. Well, four to the second power is 16, and I'm gonna leave it as 16 pi. Don't do anything else. Just leave it as 16 times pi. And then to get the perimeter, well, that's the same as circumference. So to go around the circle, we have to do pi times the diameter. Well, if the radius is four, all the way across the circle is eight. So that'd be pi times the diameter, which is eight, and that's just eight pi. Leave it alone until the end, I'll show you. This saves a ton of time. Now, put this in the surface area formula. Surface area equals two times the base area, plus the circumference times the height of the cylinder. Well, two times the base area was 16 pi, plus the circumference was eight pi times the height, and the height of the cylinder you can see is 10. And now do two times 16 is 32, bring down the pi, plus, and then do eight times 10 is 80, bring down the pi. So 32 pi plus 80 pi gives me 112 pi. And so I only have to multiply by pi at the very, very end. So 112 times 3.14 gives me 351.68, and then this would just be units to the second power because we're getting surface area. Okay, so look at example three with me, a soup can. They want us to find the surface area of a soup can. And it says round your answer. We're not gonna round, we're gonna be exact. Okay, so shade the base uh, blue and then draw the circle over here. So they gave us a circle and notice how they gave us the diameter this time is three. Well, remember for area, we need the radius. So if the diameter is three, then the radius is just half of that, 1.5. So I'm gonna do the base area equals pi times the radius to the second power. So now I plug it in, the base equals pi times 1.5 to the second power. Well, remember 1.5 is uh, just like 15 times 15 is 225, and then I move the decimal two places to the left. So that's 2.25 pi. Remember, leave pi alone, leave it there. And now let's do the circumference. Let's go around the circle. Well, circumference is pi times the diameter. The diameter was three, so this is just three times pi. Leave it alone. And now we're gonna get the surface area. So the surface area equals two times the base area plus the circumference times the height of the cylinder. So plug in what you know. So the surface area equals two times 2.25 pi, that's the base area, plus the circumference, three pi, times the height of the cylinder. And over here you can see the height, it's five. And so now I multiply, two times 2.5 is just 4.5, and bring down the pi, and then three times five is 15, and bring down the pi. So 4.5 pi plus 15 pi is 19.5 pi. And now, at the very end, and I'll put it over here. So it's just 19.5 times pi, and now we substitute the 3.14. So do 19.5 times 3.14, and you'll get 61.23 inches to the second power. Okay, so take a look at this checkpoint. They want us to find the surface area of the prism or cylinder, and then they said round, but you can cross that out. We're not going to round. Okay, so take a look at number one. It's a rectangular prism and so I shaded the base blue and I drew the base over here and I labeled it. So the length was uh, 13 meters and the width was 5 meters. So the first thing I do with the base is I get the area. The base area is just uh, 13 times 5 which is 65 and the perimeter you add up all the outside edges so that's 13 plus 5 plus 13 plus 5 and that gave me 36. And now I plug those numbers into my surface area formula. The surface area equals two times the base area plus perimeter of the base times the height 
of the um, prism, how far apart the bases are. So 2 times the base area was 2 times 65, plus the perimeter was 36 times the height was 6. And so 2 times 65 is 130. I bring down the plus sign. 36 times 6 is 216. And then I just add those up. And that gives me 346 meters to the second power. Take a look at number two. This is a cylinder. So I made the base blue and I drew the base over here and I noticed that they gave me the radius of five. So to get the area, the base area is pi times the radius to the second power. That's pi times five to the second power. Five to the second power is 25. So that's just 25 times pi. Leave it alone, leave it as pi. And now let's do the circumference. To go around the circle, I have to do pi times the diameter. Well, if the radius is 5, all the way across would be 10. So pi times 10 gives me 10 pi. And now I use my formula. Surface area equals 2 times the base area plus the circumference times the height. So that's 2 times 25 pi plus 10 pi times the height of the cylinder is 11. So 2 times 25 is 50, and bring down the pi, plus 10 times 11 is 110, and bring down the pi. So 50 pi plus 110 pi makes 160 pi. And so the last thing I do is multiply by 3.14. So 3.14 times 160 gave me 502.4 feet to the second power. And then for the movie clue, why don't you write at, um, on this page somewhere whether you like prisms or cylinders better. Tell me which one you prefer.